Tell me, Francois, what is your philosophy on leadership? How do you inspire your team to do their best? By example. I've always thought to lead by example, sir. Well, that is right. That is exactly right. But how to get them to be better than they think they can be? That is very difficult, I find. Inspiration, perhaps. How do we inspire ourselves to greatness when nothing less will do? How do we inspire everyone around us? I sometimes think it is by using the work of others. On Robben Island, when things got very bad, I found inspiration in a poem. A poem? A Victorian poem. Just words, but they helped me to stand when all I wanted to do was to lie down. But you didn't come all this way to hear an old man talk about things that make no sense. No, no, please, Mr. President. It makes complete sense to me. On the day of a big match, say, a test, in the bus on the way to the stadium, nobody talks. Ah, yes. They're all preparing. Right. But when I think we're ready, I have the bus driver put on a song, something I've chosen, one we all know. And we listen to the words together. And it helps. I remember when I was invited to the 1992 Olympics in Barcelona. Everybody in the stadium greeted me with a song. At the time, the future, our future, seemed very bleak. But to hear that song in the voices of people from all over our planet made me proud to be South African. It inspired me to come home and do better. It allowed me to expect more of myself. May I ask, what was the song, sir? Well, it was in Posisikilele, Africa. A very inspiring song. We need inspiration, Francois. Because in order to build our nation, we must all exceed our own expectations. 